weather show. Let's talk to Ray Timmer. we got to get an update for the folks down south. Ray, tell us what you see. Where are you? This thing is cranking, man. It's about to put a big one down. chance that number wouldn't go through. I just had a brief touchdown about two minutes ago on this Newcastle storm. Okay, hang on. We'll get you on the air. And so again, it's going to be right along northwest as uh, Route 37. And again, this will eventually cross over the Canadian River and this is going to barely make it. Stuff coming up from, I'm seeing uh, condensation towards the ground. It's not, if it's not on the ground, it's very close to it. Yeah, you can definitely see that. This is a developing oh, uh, situation, developing tornado. There you go, you see it? There you see it. Yeah, that was on, on the ground. That's on the ground. And a tornado. Tornado on the ground. There's a tornado. All right, we've got this tornado. And again, this is going to be, I'm still depicting it, it yeah. uh, just a couple miles north north of Newcastle, Rusty. I want to bring Chris, it's Rusty, can you hear me? Yes, we're looking almost due west from down 149th Street. Okay, it's going to cross the river momentarily, Chris. Let me know when you see that happen. Okay, uh, this is going to, more than likely, it's going to stay going east here, so this is going to cross over the Canadian River. We're still just a few miles, what it looks like, just north of Newcastle. Again, this is going to be just north of Newcastle within this. Looking at the velocity, look at the picture right there. This is tightening up. This rotation here, you can see this, this Tech tornado. Steve. It's, it's the early stages street. of this tornado right here. You can see it right here moving to the east. As we pan across here, you can see this coming in from Chris course. Lee and Bastion. Look at that. Chance yeah. I see you. We got, we got it on it's three bad. different people. Okay, I'm right here by it. Okay, we may be talking to you here in a little bit. Hang on. Okay. When's your wife's tornado right here. Now is a perfectly good time to make sure that you download the KOCO5 Tornado app and the KOCO app as well. You can watch our streaming coverage as you go into your tornado okay, shelter. Again, you can see this right here. This is going to be right. near Southwest 159th Street in May. Large tornado on the ground. Chris, give us your exact location right now. We are right between uh, we're right between Penn and May on uh, 149th. We're looking uh, just south of due west on 149th. It looks like it's south of 149th. Looks like it may be getting ready to come across the river right about now. It's north of that uh, power plant uh, that's along uh, the river there. And this is a this is a very intense tornado. We have watched it go from just a very thin rope-like tornado to now what looks here debris flying in the air from the base, Damon. Okay, that is a large tornado now moving into Cleveland County. This is a large tornado moving into Cleveland County. This is coming in from Chance Cold Iron. You can see what appears to be that debris. Looks like it's, we're getting debris in there, and that tornado is getting even larger. That is a big tornado. This is going to be moving in your direction. Again, four western parts of Cleveland County there. Uh, we southwest 149th Street, southwest 134th Street. We'll go south of 134. That is an open. Oh, hit a house! Hit a house! Street and more. Chance Cold Iron, you're live on the phone right now. Go ahead, go. Damon, this tornado's turned into a violent stovepipe. It just hit a house or a barn. We've got debris flying everywhere. Uh, it's where it's a quarter mile west of I-44 and the river. Uh, it's, it's, a mile, it's about a mile and a half west of the river. Um, this is going to be, uh, let me see here, uh, 37. It should be coming up on 37, but it's violent now. We're in the high-end EF3 range on this tornado, and it's um, it's going, to, it's uh, 37 where uh, McDonald's is, and all the gas stations is just to the west, and it's doing damage, major damage. We're going to follow it here uh, as it's going to cross uh, I-44, but... Uh, it's getting it's getting a lot larger. It's a couple, uh, couple hundred yards okay. wide right now as we speak. 
camped right exactly where are you right now? Where I, are you? I am uh, Highway 37 and I-44. It just crossed Highway 37 and it is moving uh, northeast up towards uh, I-44. Okay, Chance, where are you in comparison to the first Moore exit off of I-44, otherwise known as Southwest 149th Street? Are you near there? We're two miles south of there. It just, okay, missed, it, it just missed the Brahms and McDonald's at the Newcastle exit on Highway 37. Okay, okay you're at the Newcastle exit okay, along Highway 37 right there. That is getting right, looks like it's going to be crossing over the Canadian River there. Okay, so Damon, Damon, this, Damon, this thing is mean. Yes, go ahead, go. What do you think? Damon, people in Westmore need to be underground on this tornado. We have debris, large, large chunks of debris. If, uh, give me just one second. Uh, it's going to cross right over the bridge on I-44 and come in on 149th. I got you a view right here. It's going to pass right in front of me. Okay, this here, is going to be a, this is a here it very is, Damon. large tornado. We have this large is, debris in the air. Here it is, Damon, right in front of me. That are living in Westmore. If you're living along Southwest 149th Street, South Pennsylvania Avenue, Southwest 164th Street, Southwest 179th Street, otherwise known as Indian Hill Road, as you make way uh, just west of the Westmore Trail Park, west of the Moore Golf and Athletic Club, yeah, uh, Southwest 134th Street. This is a large tornado that is now moving into uh, western right part of as as it goes, Cleveland right? County, Rusty winds that could be in excess of 150 miles an hour, perhaps even higher than that. Uh, these will be in comparison. This tornado will be in comparison to the Shawnee, Carney tornadoes, EF4, maybe even higher. Tornado emergency is now coming. We do have a tornado emergency for this storm that is moving into more right now. This is a tornado emergency. This is higher than a tornado warning. This is the most significant of all warnings that we can issue when it comes to a tornado, okay? This is more significant than a tornado warning. A tornado emergency is now in effect for Cleveland, McLean, and Oklahoma County. Danielle Dozier, go. Why they taking us? Hey, we're at a hundred. We're at 149th and South Bank. Just saw a power flash in the sky, Damon. This is a large Why are they not taking violent us? tornado. Look at this video. It is moving to the northeast, and we we're, we're looking at it right now. It's moving to the east northeast generally. But I mean, if you are in more, I would go ahead and get underground right now. Violent tornado, and this thing is kicking up debris. We just zoomed in. We saw the debris. Now, of course, the trees are a little bit in the way, so we okay. can't see okay. it actually at the ground. But this is definitely causing a lot of damage and right Damon now. Damon and Rusty, the thing that I would, uh, I would caution Get everybody on, every the storms we saw yesterday, they would produce okay. a tornado and it oh would come back, uh, it would go back up. This one has gotten stronger and stronger and stronger. We have not seen any weakening at all. It just seems to be getting bigger. That really concerns me about the long, well, how long this thing is going to be on the ground. It's headed oh, into the, the south parts of Oklahoma. Oh, those are cars! Oh my gosh, those are cars! So it's getting power lines over there, uh, probably approaching May Avenue. We're going to need to get out of here because it's going to come by. Uh, is this a little too close to where I'm Okay, over? yeah, Chris, so right along southwest 149th Street, that is in Oklahoma City. Southwest 149th Street, as it moves into Moore, becomes Southwest 19th Street. We're talking about Moore City Limit Street between Southwest 19th and 4th Street. In the Oklahoma City area, Southwest 134th Street and 149th Street, south of 164th Street. This is a tornado emergency. You need to be below ground immediately. You need to be below ground immediately. Now is the time to go into your tornado shelter. We are not here to scare you, but this is a very large tornado. And we want you to understand the tone that we are using right now as a very serious situation, a life-threatening situation as we have this large tornado on the ground. We hear the tornado sirens. They are going off. Tornado, uh, sorry, seriously, take our warning very seriously. Again, a large tornado is moving now in the western. Uh, do you have this tornado going over the river as it is? I do believe it is starting to turn more east. 
We get these large tornadoes that become right turners. They head more to you. So right now I have it just south of Southwest 149th Street. Let me say this, and I'm going to say this to as experienced as I've ever said in the seven years I've been here. If you are not underground on the path of this storm, you are endangering your life. This yeah. is the kind of tornado that is going to be coming into the west and south of the floor. You have to get okay. half the path of this tornado. Jan, you still there? No, you, you got to get me on, man. That's Just cross the river on I-44. Okay, we're getting ready to go to you. detecting debris in this storm with our radar. You can see the radar on the right hand side of your television screen there. That heat shading that you can see right there, that is debris that is in this storm. So this is a large water tornado, a tornado of emergency has been hit to Cleveland County and Southern Oklahoma County, although if this storm turns more right, this is going to stay more in the Cleveland County here. So right along Southwest 149th Street, I am detecting some significant debris within this tornado right here from our radar and it gets southwest 149th Street, turns into southwest 19th Street into more. That will put it on the track that would take it into the stream. Call ended. Call ended. Moving more to the east, again, anyone that is uh, within the uh, Walmart, there's a Walmart on 19th Street and more. There's a tornado on the right-hand side of your television screen there. If you are at the, uh, within the Walmart on 19th Street and more, if you are near the Dick Sporting Goods on uh, on the 19th Street, if you live near the Home Depot, the more Golf and Athletic Club, so uh, you are in the path of this tornado. Of you yeah, need to be below ground. You can see the tornado on the right-hand side of your television screen. Again, that is right here over Southwest 149th Street. And again, that becomes South 34th Street and more. That is going to be one block north, one street north of Indian Hill Road and more. Daniel Dozier, go. but now 
now we're staying closer to I-30. Yeah, I'm here. All right, well, we're going to come to you again. Uh, the street locators on there. I believe that's going to be nice to be in your tornado shelter immediately. Chance cold iron. They're live now. Go ahead, go. David, I was on Southwest 134th and uh, Santa Fe. It's green wrapped. There's a the biggest neighborhood edition of nice homes here. It's getting ready to take a direct hit. Just southwest of Southwest 134th in Santa Fe. There's a tornado. All right, quarter mile. It's rain wrapped now. You're not going to be able to see it. We've got too many people on the road still, Damon. Everybody in Moore needs to be off the roads and in their shelters. It's turning. It's going uh, to... Look at the last radar scan is just barely nudged a little bit farther down to the south. Again, we continue to monitor this. So again, those of us in the Moore Athletic Club, uh, if you're living uh, right around the Oak Ridge Elementary School, the West Moore... Right here, you can see right here. Severe, but we want you to know how serious of a storm this is. This is a tornado emergency for Moore. This is where the uh, Moore was the first place of the tornado emergency back in 1999. So right here, this is going to be the Moore Medical Center that chances are talking about. This right here, the telephone road. This is where the Warren Theater is. This is where the Lowe's is. This is going to be where the Walmart is. Get in! Let's get right in! Here. Get in! Back there, right here. Yeah. No, 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 we're chasers, we're fine. Right it's coming right at you, though. Right inside your television screen. This is Eastern Avenue right here. As you get in Ballpark Neighborhood Market right here, the Cleveland County Health Department right here, department right here, and there's going to be a fence right here, there's a subway right here, and then uh, um, there's going to be a middle school right Dude, here. I'm uh, sorry, I live right here. <laughs> It's going to be right here. So the middle school at Junior High, Highland Junior High, is right here. This is going to be Bryant, all right? This is going to be Veterans Memorial Park right here. So Bryant, Veterans Memorial Park. This is the tornado now. This is going to be right uh, over. This is just crossed over the train tracks and five. more. So this tornado has crossed right over the train tracks and more right along 4th Street. Okay, this is debris that we are picking up within this tornado. So what are you going to let it do? we get in front of it? I'm here. I lose them? Hello? What do you want me to do? Go south or north? North. This car coming on your right, man. Look at that. Right back into housing, housing conditions and uh, more of the residential part of town here. And look at that power flash on the far right of your screen. If you look in there, take a look at that. It's uh, way out there. So the wind in front of this thing has got to be just ripping. So th this thing is definitely something not to play with. Uh, and we're going to stay here and we'll keep following. I fixed that to make a turn so the skids are going to be in the shot for just a second. But uh, otherwise, we're going to get too far away. But that's it right there going through more. A huge, huge tornado there, Mike. South 19th. And so what it has done is it looks like it went from a wedge to a barrel. Now it's back to a wedge again is what it did. This is another Okay, well, we're going to try to get it up. I doubt we're going to have any service or anything. You can, I guess you can still do a phoner, can't you? Yeah, let's, I would go ahead and get you ready for a phone. Keep working on your street, though, man. I don't have any pictures of the tornado, man. All the, str all the service is gone. Has anybody else got service? The truck nine has got a stream of it. Oh, I got this one up here. Uh, Ruffy, the brat going to go. Damon, you know, a cold front is interacting with this tornado. Anything that interacts is actually setting the speed up a little bit. It does two things. It doesn't allow it to be over the community as long, but it also factors in the speed of the tornado with the actual tornadic wind. So it can make the winds of the tornado faster, but it doesn't stay over the community as long. But uh, still a violent tornado on the ground and a rough field.
Still working on scan? Yeah, man, I, I think I got some 3G, maybe. 4G, maybe. That thing, you got what? I, hold on, hold on, I'm trying to get it up. It's coming up on, uh, looks like, uh, Center Road, maybe? Yeah, it's on Center right now. Center 4. 104th and Center? Uh, uh, yeah, Center 4th Street North. Yeah, Center 4th Street North. Going due east, moving due east. I got a scream off, check me. Yeah, I'm checking. We're working on this in chance. You staying up with it? Yeah, I'm right here. It's getting ready to go. Uh, it's going uh, It's going to go across Draper Lake here in just a minute. I'm going to have to go up to 240. All right, I got your stream, man. I got your stream. of about 25 miles per hour. We continue this tornado emergency, this is a tornado emergency still for those of us that are right west of Lake Stanley Draper. Can't go iron, go. Damon, uh, that tornado came down just right along 4th Street or moved just to the south of 4th Street. I lost my house, I'm pretty sure. Maybe yours is gone. It's going right over the lake right now. It's a strong stovepipe tornado. Um, it's just it's just not giving up. It just keeps on and keeps on. It's one of these ones that's going to keep going. Uh, it's slendering down just a little bit now, but it should be right over Lake Stanley Draper right now as we speak. Moving to the east. Anybody on the east side of the lake or over that direction needs to be out of the way of this tornado in their shelters. Back to okay, you. Chance. Okay, Chance. Uh, yeah, once again, we continue to attract this very significant tornado. This is moving in. Moving in. So now Lake Stanley Draper, very large tornado there. And we